need to have our morning conversation yesterday oh <laughs> ladies today we are today it's all about empowering yourself We've talked about men's mental health for whatever month. No, you are dedicated this week uh, to uh, us. The, the week is over. <laughs> the week is over. Kigangi. You are tired of momentum. Ah, diko da momentum ya man you magoma. This morning, met a lady yesterday. She asked me a question and it was such an honest question. I had to stop. I almost staggered back at the honesty of that question. Mm. So ladies, this morning I want you to advise her. She asked me, Maina, how do I punish my husband, Akini Kosea? Mm. What is the best form of punishment a wife can give to the husband? He's still the father of your kids? He's still the man? Jose Wazuko, good morning. But there must be consequences for doing wrong. Me ordinarily, me adjust, you know, withdraw certain services. Yeah. But apparently that's not even enough. Mm. Come the way you are coming. <laughs> ni, ni, ni. Come as you are. <laughs> I would normally say mm. withdraw mm. transfer services. And I was asking myself utakuja kuuliza hiyo swali ndio. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come near the fire. No. Mm. Mm. <laughs> ah, Patua Eton, good morning to you. How do you punish your men? Ladies? Mm. Mm. Wakikukosea. What do you do? Hata achia hapo. What do you do? What how, what lesson can you teach him that he will not forget <laughs> na hata rudia? Let's just go straight to the point wache kupiga around the bush. Let me tell you ladies. When you deny your man. Hey, it's not even about denying. Liwe. That kind of punishment, which is against the law and against the all sharia's that we Sharia gani? <laughs> sharia gani? Give me one law. Rwambeka, that is the most painful thing for a man. You know we cannot report to police station. We cannot go anywhere. You've denied me. I'm the father of your child or your children. Kila siku na headache. Why? I want you to give me a call. Why? Why do you do that? On 0711-046-105. Tafadhali? Ama unafika mali umechoka na mimi. What is it? Why do you do that? Hit me up on X. Do you know that's not even about... There are so many ways of punishing that you. That is number one. Punishing your man like that. Nina uchungu sana yo kitu. A classic 105. It's very Kenya. painful. Oh, it's my neck again. Hashtag is my neck again. We're talking about punishing your man. Ah. In a way that he will never forget na hata rudia. Ah. Mimi kwaza yu. What yun, is yun. your proven ah. method? Today, you shall let other women know ah. what you're doing. That is very effective. So everyone can follow in line. We're talking about punishing your man. Punishing your man. When he wrongs you, what do you do? In a way that he'll never forget. Forget even denying him his conjugal rights. There must be other ways of punishing this man. Gotta be. Shiko Mwangi, good morning. I like what you've told me, your next. Don't punish him. Simply join him in whatever mistake he has done and see if he can handle a taste of his own medicine. Kiangai. Two five four Mima, good morning to you. Saying women always find silence as the best punishment when you make her mad. Silence hurts more than being denied even conjugal rights. 
Dokas Cherotich, happy birthday from Sabu, Arab Sabu. I can see you're looking beautiful and next. Thank you, Doris Cherotich, and thank you for the love and the support, and happy birthday to you. How do you punish your man? There's got to be a way. There has got to be a way to make him never, ever do it again. Forget even conjugal rights. There's got to be a way. Nyamwaka, good morning. I hope you're well. Nyambura, very good morning to you. Saying it's been four months since I last talked to my man. Eh? Huh? You tell me. Four months. Okay, how do you do it? That's my question today. Hello. Hello, Maina. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Don't talk about the punishment which we are getting from this lady. <laughs> how does your woman punish you? Imagine. 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 Alienda ka revenge. Alienda ka revenge. Eh alienda ka revenge kapsa. Na ka make sure umejua. Eh eh, aka make sure kapsa nimejua. Ah huyo alikuwa anataka kukua. Na ulikuwa unajua huyo mwanamume mwingine? Ah si kwa namjua lakini aliniambia aliniambia ni mtu fulani mpaka akanipea namba. Haki ya nani ukufe? Ufanye nini na hiyo namba? Si ni ni confirm. Na uli confirm so ukapigia huyo jamaa ama Nili confirm nili confirm mpaka jamaa ananiambia si kwa ni kwa najua hapo na mtu Hiyo kitu na niuma na niko hapa Imagine nilichukua nilichukua tu watoto wangu wawili nikaambia fanya hivi fuatana na huyo jamaa muende tu naye Kabisa Me I'm so I'm tired so nikaanza na tume So when she gave you the number did you call the guy Nili mkul. Aunge biga. Kumuabiaze. Kumuuliza tu, kumuuliza, kupishua uvi. Na haka confirm. Nika confirm. Ukiongea kuhuzu refenge ni mimi. Ya ni mina sikia fibaya zaada. Wa, wa, wa. Ok, asante zaada. Aya, saa, asante maina. What are you calling him for? Will he deposit to Ndugu Yangu? Anakuambia, Ndiyo! Will you die? Shika simu mpigie. Umuambiaji? That lady is so dead. That one is a murderer. How? Okay, I need to hear from you. Girls, how do you do it? Guys, how did she do it to you?